Ableton Live is really great to trigger drum sounds or to trigger sounds in general, adding audio effects, automating audio effects, etc. And especially for drummers who have electronic drum equipment already, this is really a great expansion of sounds and stuff you can achieve. Very often electronic drum modules and electronic drum pads are not that easy to get through and to change the pitch. It's a bit of a science in some cases and especially when you want to change those uh, MIDI notes, it's um, sometimes not that easy to keep track. So I created a Max for Life plugin called Drum Rack Tuner to give you some more and uh, deeper control and some more quicker access and some better overview over that. So one case could be you just want to play a drum rack uh, sound preset. So we got the 808 kit here from the Ableton Live library. And this needs to receive C1 up to D2, 4x4, 16 fields. So those dedicated note pitches, C1, for example, here for the kick 808, needs to be sent in. So when I'm now playing my SPDSX kit, Nothing is happening because I'm sending in different note pitches. So if you just use the drum rack tuner, put it in front of the drum rack you want to play, you can now change the pitches to uh, being pitched to the right field. So I want to get a C1 from uh, this first thing here and I can uh, see which MIDI note I'm sending in at the moment at the monitor so it shows me which note pitch and which velocity I'm actually um, sent in last. So it's F sharp 3 my first pad on the SPDSX so I can put in F sharp 3 in here now by hand by mouse or by my computer keyboard or I can much quicker just press the S button for sync and now it's flashing and I just now play my first pad and it receives the note pitch and automatically changes this to this value up here which is C1 at the moment now. So I quickly gonna, gonna create a preset now, another field and add some more random fields here. Okay, so now this is set already and I can play my SPDSX now and trigger those sounds from the 808 core kit. So the beauty here is now if I do this all inside of Ableton Live, I can actually just save this in my user library as a preset now. So let's put in a name here as well. Let's say uh, preset. SPD SX, let's put in the kit number as well. So I'm sure if I open my SPD SX again, the right note pitches are coming in. So when I now open a new track, and let's arm this track, let's put in the preset in here, and let's put in a sound, different sound preset. So let's just pick something random in here. It's already being synced to the right note pitches, repitched to the right note pitches, so I can play now my SPDSX and the drum rack tuner will um, repitch it to the right notes.